Transport Phenomena in Biosystem, Module 4, Shell Momentum Balances, Segment 5, Flow Through and Analyst. With me, Yusuf from Bioengineering Study Program, School of Life Sciences and Phenology, Institute Technology, Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about Module Overview, Shell Momentum Balances, Flow of a Falling Film, and Flow Through a Circular Tube. In this segment, we will discuss about flow through and analysis. Let's consider another viscous flow problem in cylindrical coordinates, namely the steady state actual flow of an incompressible liquid in an annular region between two coaxial cylinders of ready KR and R as shown in the figure. The fluid is flowing upward in the tube which is in the direction opposite to gravity. We make the same postulate as in the previous segment. Vz equals to Vz as a function of r, V theta equals to 0, Vr equals to 0, and P is a function of Pz. Then we can make a momentum balance over a thin cylindrical shell of liquid. We obtain a differential equation as shown in equation 441. Following the procedures explained in the previous segment will give the momentum flux distribution as shown in equation 442 and the velocity distribution as shown in equation 443. Once the velocity distribution is known, a number of quantities can be calculated. First, the maximum velocity which can be calculated by equation 444. Second, the average velocity is given by equation 445. Third, the mass rate of flow can be expressed by equation 446. And last but not least, the force exerted by the fluid on solid surfaces is obtained by summing the forces acting on the inner and outer cylinder as shown in equation 447. For detailed explanation, please refer to the textbook page 54 to 56. For the next segment, we will discuss about flow through and analysis. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.